Welcome to our Year 11 Matters Parental Information video. We're going to be sharing with you some key dates and some key messages that hopefully you'll find very useful. First thing I'd like to say is that the mock exams start the 11th of October. These are going to help prepare students for the summer exam series next year. Students will be receiving their mock exam results on the 18th of November and these will be available to you on Edulink next month. The Year 11 Interim Reports, which will have the mock, uh, the mock results, the predicted grades and the current working at, will be available before Christmas and the Parents' Evening, where you'll be able to contact staff directly, will be in January. Following this, there is a second round of mock exams next year, which will take place in February. But please don't be concerned if your student has to miss one of these mock exams due to coronavirus. We will put things in place to make sure that they're able to catch this up at a later date. Thank you very much. Hope the video is really useful. Hi everyone, it's Mr Bradley here. Um, just going to talk to you for a few minutes about revision and how to support students with their revision as best as possible. It's really important to us as an academy that uh, teachers and parents and students work together to manage the amount of time students are revising, but also to allow them to have social time and time doing things that they really enjoy and give them that time to relax. Uh, it's important that students have a revision timetable that focuses on the subjects and topics that they're not too certain about, that they need support in and that they may struggle with. It's easy sometimes to do the topics that we know and the topics that students know they'll get right, but actually it's the ones that they need support on that are the most important. So uh, together we need to encourage them to put together a revision timetable, but allow them also to have time doing the social activities and doing the things that they enjoy so that they can relax as well and aren't revising all of the time. We have some apps in school such as Tassamai, Hegarty Maths and GCSE Pod, which can support with this and any subject leader or class teacher can point you in the direction of additional materials to support with your child's studies. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to contact us. Hi parents and carers, I'm Miss Russell and I'm part of the Key Stage 4 team here at Ormiston Forge Academy. I'm just going to give you some key information in relation to our expectations with the upcoming mocks and also the real thing that will be going ahead next year when they sit their exams. It is vital that students are attending the revision sessions available to them. They'll be happening every single day. Now, some of them might not be applicable to your child or children, but it's vital that they do attend the ones that are for them. That means they need to go to sleep at a reasonable hour, and they also need to turn up to school and to us with the correct equipment. If they don't, they know they can purchase that via the Key Stage 4 office every single morning. In the meantime, if you do have any questions at all, you are more than welcome to contact one of us and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions or concerns that you do have. Thank you. Hi parents, uh, I'm Mr Grant and I just wanted to quickly speak to you about the importance of attendance. Now, attendance is really important throughout the whole of school, um, but most definitely uh, and in particular in Year 11. And it's important for a number of reasons. Um, nothing more so the fact that they've got the GCSEs at the end of the academic year. Um, so every day counts, essentially. At some point or another, I'll have probably spoken to you guys over the last five years. Um, I've probably done a few of your heads in. Um, I'll make no apology for that um, because I know the importance of kids being in school. And I know facts such as no student has ever left this academy with an attendance record below 90%, achieving a grade five or above in English and maths. So I'll always try to encourage kids to get into school, be resilient, show a bit of grit and determination to try and get through the day. Because that's what you need in, in, um, in life once you've finished school and that's what we want to prepare them for as well. Um, if you have any questions about attendance or any concerns or you want to speak about anything, please do give me a call. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you everyone for your time and um, watching this video. We really want the best for your child uh, this year in terms of their GCSEs and we know it's a different kind of year uh, to how it has been the last couple. If you have any questions or you have any concerns at any point, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, give a call into reception and they will uh, contact me and I'll call you back. Uh, alternatively, you may have my email address already uh, or reception will pass that on to you and then I can contact you directly. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.